so today, actually on Thursday, sorry, this broadcast on Friday, but on Thursday, the Live Golf Tour kicked off with their event in London. And if you've been sleeping under a rock, you don't know what's going on. But what has happened is there's this Saudi back golf league that is basically trying to compete with the PGA Tour. And they have poached a number of PGA Tour professional golfers. Now, this is not something that is new to the PGA Tour. And if you have tuned into Straight Shooting in previous weeks, Matt and myself discussed labor discussions that golfers have had with the PGA Tour going all the way back to the 60s and 70s and Jack Nicklaus actually being one of the front men when it came to these labor disputes because the PGA Tour, for as great as the game of golf is, and everybody wanting to get their name on a PGA Tour card, the PGA Tour is a little too buttoned up, a little too shirt tucked in, and they need to take a chill pill. And the reality is they now have competition. And I'll tell you why they have competition. The Live Tour goes with the slogan, Golf Just Louder. And Paul, I don't know if you are aware of how this works, but to give the viewers an idea of why the PGA Tour might be in trouble, one of the best events that happens every four years is the Ryder Cup. And the Ryder Cup is a tournament that takes place with the United States and Europe. And it's a team-formatted golf tournament, and it is insane. When you talk about best ball, you talk about foursomes, you talk about the, the crowd getting involved and the USA chants and the Rory McIlroy chants and all these other just – it's a – I described it as a college football experience on a golf course is really what the Ryder Cup is. Live Golf has taken that and made it into a tour, an eight tournament event that is going to be international, but also stateside. In fact, their second tournament is going to be taking place in Portland, Oregon in a few weeks. And so, yes, today there were a number of names that you would recognize from the PGA Tour that teed off in the Live Golf Tournament. Names like Phil Mickelson, Dustin Johnson, Sergio Garcia, Lee Westwood, Graham McDowell, Louis Oosthuizen, and a number of others. And they made a choice. They made a very specific choice because here's the deal with the live golf tournament it is not a four round tournament it's only a three round tournament it's 54 holes in fact the liv is actually a play on the roman numeral of 54 because if you birdied every hole you would shoot a 54 and there's only 54 holes per tournament everybody gets paid there's no cut in these tournaments so that's already a boost and the reviews from the players and the caddies at this tournament in London this week have just been phenomenal. There was one caddy that said, anything that we need. There was a gift waiting for us in the hotel. They booked our airfare. They booked our hotel. They paid for everything. And anything that we need, they get us. That's not the case with the PGA Tour. With the PGA Tour, if you don't have sponsors exemptions or exemptions from winnings or whatever the case may be, you pay to participate. And that's not a great way to attract the high flying players. The guys like a Dustin Johnson, when he doesn't have to pay to enter a tournament, when he is actually getting paid to be part of a tour, why would he not join that tour? Why would he not go where the money is? And so the PGA Tour did come out with a statement. Jay Monahan, their commissioner, sent a memo to current PGA Tour card holders. And he said, I wish to provide you with an update and to share information regarding the current and former PGA Tour players who are participating in the Saudi Golf League's event today in London. He said, I thank you for your trust, patience, and loyalty. And then he went on to say, simultaneous to you receiving this memo, the players listed below, and he listed them all at the end of the memo, 
are being notified that they are suspended or otherwise no longer eligible to participate in PGA Tour tournament play, including the President's Cup. This also applies to all tours sanctioned by the PGA Tour, the Corn uh, Ferry Tour, PGA Tour Champions, PGA Tour Canada, and PGA Tour Latino America. As players listed below did not receive the necessary conflicting event and media rights releases, or did they apply for releases at all? And their participation in the Saudi Golf League Live Golf event is a violation of our tournament regu regulations. He went on to then say at the end, and this is where I balk at what he had to say. This week, the RBC Canadian Open is a shining example of what you have created with the PGA Tour. A star-studded field, a committed sponsor, sold-out hospitality offerings, record crowds, and a global broadcast distribution. These elements are part of the tour's DNA, built on the likes of Jack and Arnie, furthered by Tiger and countless others, whose legacies are inextricably linked with each other and with the PGA Tour. This collective legacy can't be bought or sold. Jay, I got news for you. The Live Golf Tour also had a star-studded field. It also has a very committed sponsor. It is sold out, and they have global broadcasting because they are broadcasting on the World Wide Web, commercial-free, and on Facebook, and on YouTube. So they have distribution as well with a star-studded field. And I can promise you, as a golf fan, I'm much more interested in what Dustin Johnson and Phil Mickelson are doing on the Live Golf Tour than I am with whoever's doing what at the RBC Canadian Open. I promise you that. Now, here's one interesting tidbit that I'm going to leave you with, Paul. And this is from James. I want to make sure James Coolgan. He's a former caddy. He, he calls himself a former caddy and a current hack, but he works at golf.com. And he, he said this, he goes, I viewed the first 30 minutes of the RB, a PGA tour and the live golf open or the Live Golf Tournament. And he said, this is how they compare. In the Live Golf Tournament, the first 30 minutes, you saw 60 shots, no commercials, and two pre-produced packages. The PGA Tour, 33 shots, one commercial break, and 11 pre-produced packages. The writing is on the wall right now, as it was back in the 60s for changes to be made to the PGA Tour. They made changes back in the 60s, as Matt and I discussed on Straight Shooting, but they are in for the fight of their life right now because the Live Golf Tour is doing things right. There's team events. There's individual events. There's a lot of money to be thrown around, and they have a great field of golfers that are worth watching. So PGA Tour, unbutton the collar a little bit, untuck the shirt, chill out, and get to the point where you can work with Live Golf not fight against them continuously. You've had about half of those 17 suspended players already resign their tour membership card. So your little act of suspension was pointless. Do better, be better, because you have a great game and you have a lot of personalities and great players. You just need to be better for those players that work for you and better for the fans that spend their money at your tournaments and take part in your distribution that's worldwide, which is not exclusive to you. So PGA Tour, be better.